Hello there, welcome to my bench once again. And this tutorial I'm going to tie you up a, a damselfly nymph. Very effective fly on your still water lakes for trout and bass. So I figured I'd give this guy a go today for you. So I'll get him a, the vise, a fresh hook in, and I'll get started here. For the hook I'm using a, <coughs> excuse me, a size 4 curved nymph hook straight eye so I'll get him locked in the vise here there we go okay so first thing we'll do is start our thread on the hook and I'm using UTC olive 70 denier and I'm going to start just behind the eye here and I'm going to wrap back probably about two to three eye lengths back and then I'm going to come ahead another eye length or so and stop there and that's where I'm going to attach my bead chain eyes. And for the bead chain eyes, I got a set of red bead chain eyes here for this guy. So we'll tie him on. We'll start by just making a few wraps to get him placed on the shank. Sort of on an angle here. We'll wrap that way, then we'll turn him. And we'll come back. Wrap the opposite direction. And I'll straighten those eyes out a little for you. And we're going to come back the other way again, and we're just going to keep doing figure eights here till we get them on there nice and secure. Okay, just going to check them here. Okay, then I'm going to go underneath. Make quite a few wraps underneath here. A few more crisscross wraps, both directions. And there we go. A couple in front, a couple behind. Just check to make sure they're nice and straight on top of the shank. They look good, okay. So, next step here. I'm going to move that thread back. Okay, we're going to wrap back to where the bend starts on the hook here. We start to go down the bend a ways, right about there. And now I'm going to take a little bit of super glue. Reinforce those bead chain eyes before I go any further. Just gonna put a little dab in between on the top, turn it upside down, cover all them thread wraps. There we go. Once that dries, those eyes shouldn't go anywhere. Okay, next step is our tail, and for the tail I have some olive marabou, medium olive, and I just I want the real fluffy stuff on the side here. I don't want the fine tips. So I'm just going to roll off a little bit. We just want a sparse tail on this guy. Not a heavy tail. Okay, and we're going to set that in. We'll just tie him in because we're going to adjust the length after we tie him in. Come down with a pinch loop here. Okay, like so. I'll make one wrap underneath that tail. Then another. Okay. Now I'm going to snip this excess off about just behind the bead chain eyes a ways there because I'm going to wrap up on that just like so here okay wrap that down good then come back again onto it okay then I hit it once again now I want my length of my tail to be about the hook shank length or a little better so I'm going to come in and just pinch it off Instead of cutting it with your scissors, just grip it with your thumb and forefinger in your right hand, then just your other hand, and just pinch it off. Just like so. That's better than cutting with the scissors. With that blunt, it gives you a blunt end that doesn't look that great. Okay, so next step, I got copper wire for the rib. Oh, no, getting ahead of myself, excuse me. First, this. Uh, has a flashback on a holographic tinsel medium. I'm going to tie that in first, right behind the eyes here, and you want to keep that right on top of the shank. That's really important to keep it right in the middle and on top because we're going to fold that over afterwards. Right back, go back to in front of your tail. I'm just going to stick that in the material clip for now. I wrap that down good. Wrap forward. Okay, now we're going to attach our copper wire rib. So I have some medium copper wire. I'm going to start that right behind the bead chain eyes on my side of the hook. Wrap that back. 
to the front of the tail as well. Go up. Secure it well, and then come down about halfway, and we'll stop our thread there. Okay, our next step is to dub our body. And for the body, I'm using some Hairline Plus dubbing. It has a little bit of sparkle in it, and it's a medium olive. A little bit of flash in it. Okay, lots of guard here, so I'm going to take some wax and wax my thread up good here. Okay. And we'll start dubbing that on. Okay. Start forming a noodle here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's wrap this guy on. We're going to work back towards the tail. Okay, I want to make one wrap right in front of that tail, just like so. There we go. I'm just check that, make sure it's where I want it. it looks good. Okay. Now, we're going to start forming our body, and we want to taper that up a little bit as we go. Okay, need some more here. Get some more dubbing out. Dub it on. Okay, wrap this on, see where that gets us here. Okay. And a touch bit more here. Not much, just a little to finish it off. Okay, that should do it right there. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna pull out a few of those long guard hairs. Now Next step is to take our holographic tinsel and we're going to fold that right over top the body and keep it dead center. Then come down with our thread just like so. I want to check that, make sure it's in the middle. Looks good. Okay, then tie that down. I'm also going to jump in front of the eyes and tie that down. Let it go right between the V chain eyes and come back. Come in and snip that excess off. There we go. Okay, next, grab your copper wire here. And we're gonna come up and rib our fly. And it's important not to pull too hard because you don't if you do your flashback will pull down to one side or the other, so just medium pressure on it as you rib it up here. Just like so. Get one more wrap. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to take that wire and I'm going to go like crisscross between the eyes, back around, and work towards the eye. Then I'm going to move my thread ahead and tie that wire off. Trap it down really good in place. Then we're just going to helicopter that off, like so. Then move your thread back behind the bead chain eyes. Okay, next we're gonna form the head of our damsel fly. We need some more dubbing here. So wax up the thread once again. Grab our dubbing and start to form another noodle. Make this noodle a little bit thicker because we want to build our head up on them. So okay. There we go. Okay, you want to start right behind the eyes here. Make a few wraps to build that up. First off, like so. Okay, now we're going to dub some more on. Okay. Once again, a nice thick noodle here. Just keep working it on the thread. Okay. And move that up. We'll start to wrap behind now. I'm going to crisscross between the eyes here. Come around. Back the other way. And around. 
Okay, we need a little bit more. Dub some more on. Just like so here. Okay, that might finish him up right there. So, I'm going to go back between the eyes here once again. Just like so. Cover that all in well. And I just want a smidgen more in front of the eyes. And that will finish him up. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to wrap that right towards in front of her eye here. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Okay. Okay, next step is to just build a small thread head on the front here. Don't need too much. I'm just going to trim out some of these fibers here around the eye. Okay. Build a small little head. Okay, and I'm gonna throw in a half hitch. Okay, a couple more wraps. Bring in my whip finisher here. Do whip finish. And snug it to one more, three or four turns. There we go. Okay, snug that in good. Come in and snip off my excess thread. And that tail, I'm going to trim a little more off of that tail there. Just make it a tad bit shorter. I'm going to pinch a little more off of them there. There we go. Okay, now the next step to finish them off, I'm going to take my little piece of Velcro here and I'm going to pick out some of that dubbing around the head here on the top and underneath just want to pick that out a little just to give it a little more buggy look there okay that looks pretty good okay there we have it there's another Damn some fly nymph for you. Trim a couple of them guard hairs off the uh, body. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to come in and give a, a little shot of head cement to the head of that fly. Let that soak in here. There we go. So, once again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you can get a chance and you have the materials, you can tie this guy up and give him a try. Like I was saying, a very effective nymph for lake fishing. So, thank you for watching. And if you want to see more flies, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that a lot. And until next time. Signing out for now. Happy tying everyone. I'll see you again soon. And so long for now folks.